right now doing some uh doing a project redoing the computer room i'm going to right now i'm working on underneath here it's hooking up the surge protector up underneath i'm going to mount it up underneath and then do some cable management when my new tower comes also finally been hanging some stuff up on the walls finally got that done aaron let me use her table in the corner to put my printer on so everything's disassembled right now totally disassembled i got some couple mirrors to hang up maybe a bulletin board i want to find they're just these wood planks the first first prints of comic books got the old tower on the ground and I'm going to be going to be uh, upgrading this old school machine with these parts 16 gigs because I have two of these crucial ballistic RAM with LEDs Samsung 850 Evo 500 terabyte half t or 500 gig half a terabyte R9 290 FXX Radeon Western Digital 4 terabyte green hard drive. Put these things up. These things are pretty sweet. Painter's tape. This is winter, spring, summer, fall. And I think they look pretty dope. Yesterday we fixed the toilet. Haven't used it yet. We had to rip the whole toilet out and put a new wax o-ring in there. But the, it was too small, so we had to go to Lowell's and buy uh, this big, huge, more like a rubber. Lowell's! Uh, I went to Lowell's. We bought this huge, it wasn't a wax ring, it was actually some kind of special rubberized foam thing. But it was massive and actually went over the screws in there. It was in the basement. It was leaking. So I think I'm going to need one of those new things that go inside that the water comes up and uh, spits the water out. I'm going to need some more of those because as we removed it, I think some uh, rust in there got inside the little filter thing and it fills up real slow. But after that, cleaned the crap out of the toilet inside and out. Cleaned all the uh, floor area because uh, it was pretty gross. So yeah, the toilet works. Hopefully, but uh, we are trying to dry it out in the basement because all the water was soaking up. Okay, so if we come over here in the basement with the next to the washer and dryer, I got a fan running, which I need to hook up the box fan. You can't probably really see it, but this is the main line that goes outside, and this goes up directly into the toilet. You can't really see right now, there's not a good light. I don't have my flashlight, but you can definitely see up there some uh, white mildew, moldy, not moldy, but just, you know, um, where the water had been leaking out. There's the mats that need to be completed. That's about it, folks. Fix the toilet. That's the number one, number one dealio, main issue. And uh, yeah. New TV, 50 inch Vizio, LED backlit. Also comes with a, uh, I don't have it really set up that great, huge 42-inch uh, soundbar that I bought separate. And as you can see, there's the subwoofer. And we also have two satellite, I won't film Aaron, two satellite speakers, which actually work pretty decent for what it cost me. And uh, it is, that's what the TV looks like, folks. Has some smart app capability, but it's not a full smart TV. I guess these are in French and... Spanish or something. It's pretty nice. This game looks really interesting. It's some kind of Japanese RPG. Wow, look at it. Would you look at it? Also, the capabilities on these TV. Also, uh, I have an external 500 gig hard drive, Western Digital, which plugs right into the back. And I just leave it right there so I can transfer things and stuff. And that's all! Here's the old DX Racer chair, which is actually worth over, well, it's 300, it retails for 350, but I got a deal on it for 300. It's pretty sweet, actually. It's really nice, has nice stitching, it's very well made. Uh, yep, here's all the peripherals, which you probably can't see because it's super dark. It's all black anyway. Mouse pad, all that mouse crap like that. Let's fix some stuff in here. You know what? I bought one of these for 70 bucks. $70 for this, this mat. My uh, wheels on my chair still sink into it. I have to get one like my dad. He has a bamboo one, which is awesome. I fixed our front door. Let me show you what was the problem with it. First of all, before it was super bright, 
I can definitely feel the air coming through there. Okay, so went to lulls. Maybe I should zoom in there. That was really sloppy. Really thick, puffy, it has lots of ribs on it. Cut that up nice and neat. And did that and also had some paraffin wax and waxed the bottom of this because it, the door was super, like, smelly. shut it. Mission accomplished. And that's what I look like. I have an Altered Beast shirt on. It's amazing. Stop it. Is that on? Whoa, buddy, I'm way overweight today. Should be around 173. Yikes. Yeah, we gotta cut this pipe out. This is our big living room, which there's Christmas stuff still out. And it's an old TV of Aaron's. We have some old babies too. But we have, do have a new microwave, a new oven, and a new fridge. New dishwasher. Arrogant bastard ale. Our spring table decoration. Oh, look at it, folks. Just look at it. I'm in awe. This is where the metal music kicks in. Da -da -da -da. That's the cat scratching post, and that's a massive, crazy lantern on a turquoise end table with the pink lamp. And you can't forget, folks, your floral patterned couch. You gotta get one. Get out of here. When the toilet was out, you used to take a dump right there. Oh, yeah, it's all going on the internet. Convex, not concave. I don't think this is gonna get a shot of it whatsoever. Up. What the? Uh, I'm gonna camp in this corner the whole time. I'm so good. Look at me. Come on, let's rush it. Come on, let's get in. Oh yeah, when I hit escape, there's a huge choppy delay, and sometimes the sound gets messed up when I hit escape. It even drops frames. I'm at 160, hit escape, it drops down to 60. 60. 60. Probably can't see anything on that video whatsoever. Alright. Uh, me. I heard some of the powder coating on this is a little rough, and it is a little rough, I can see. Box with everything you need in it. Some zip ties and some extra Velcro straps. Oh crap, I just broke the whole thing. Uh, reservoir mount, uh, SSD mount. Manual. Front one is white and the back one is black. You're just never gonna see the black one, so that's fine. Washable dust filters. Two eight ounce for 10 bucks, and then they were selling 10 ounce for 10 bucks, so why wouldn't you buy the two eight ounce? Power supply still looks new. It's like no scratches, no nothing on it. Gun metal, like mirror finish. Saddest. Eight SATA ports. Right now, doing the hard drives. So I have my old hard drives installed. I have my Seagate 500, uh, and two Western Digital 500s, and I'm about to install my new Western Digital Green 4 terabyte drive. And I also have my two solid state drives, the Samsung's a 500 gig, and that's an older Intel, which is a 120. I decided to install my new Western Digital 4 terabyte at the bottom here. So I'm gonna take my Seagate, Keep my Western Digitals up there together and space these out a little bit so this 200 millimeter fan can blow across it.
All right, so I got the computer hooked up in the living room. Just to test it out, I wanted to see if the internet officially worked too, because so I have an ethernet cable coming right out of the wall in this living room, the other living room, two in the office, I believe, which is really nice because I can just pull the ethernet right out, hook it right up to the PC, fart around on some games real quick. I wanted to see what games look like with the sound, the surround sound. I haven't played Street Fighter in forever yet. I go into the config I and I and change off to on to full screen. Even though my card's still down clock, let's do the benchmark. Ninety FPS. Last time I did it, I had like three hundred and twenty when the card is when the card is normal. Ground sound works. Sounds awesome. Finally, it's about two in the morning. I'm running Heaven Benchmark 4.0 right now. Here's the modem mounted underneath, but I need to get all these wires up out of there. But I had a pretty cool idea of drilling a hole right in the middle of this table. Straight, oh, and find like a uh, rubber O-ring thing to fit inside it and all the t cables could come down. Um, that would work. The only problem with that is I would have to buy extensions for everything. But uh, I might come up with some other ideas or look up some other ideas. How do I turn the light on in this dang camera? If I wanted to use my headphones, I would unplug it and it instantly kick over to the headset. And if I want to switch back to the, uh... Oh, there's somebody outside watch me. Yeah, so anyway, you just pop this in and out to switch between them. Easy peasy, right? Yeah, once I get more fans and I want to get a CPU cooler and a new power supply, I'll definitely work more on cable management. That's uh, all she wrote, folks. Been working on this sucker for about two weeks now. Taking it apart, doing this, doing that, waiting on parts. Oh, my food. 